a beautiful day here in Yorkshire. We're at Wellham Lake. I've gate crashed Rod Bird Swim. He's behind me there. We're here to take a look at Sonic's Dominator X range. It is the type of kit in terms of price that most of us buy. It's not that super high end gear and it's certainly not budget quality. Yeah, it's a crowded marketplace, but Sonic have got some key features and a very attractive multi-buy option on the rods. So let's have a look. Here we are then with the matching Dominator X rod and reel. We'll start at, with a look at the rod. Now, compared to the Vader X range, which is the model below, this is 10% stiffer in the butt and 5% stiffer in the tip. What that means in real world terms is that the rod will bounce back quicker and more accurately. We slowed down some footage of rod casting earlier and it was really noticeable. You could see how quickly the rod snapped back. There's plenty of details on here. You've got Sonic's line clip, you've got 50 mil butt rings, you've got an anti-frap tip ring and a genuine Fuji reel seat. There's also a nice flared end to the butt as well. So plenty of features and with the multi-buy option, these are normally $129.99 in the 12 foot version, that's per rod. But with multi-buy, you can get them on a three for two, which brings it down to under 90 quid a piece. There are two hybrid spot and marker rods in the range. One is your standard 12 foot, but it's the 13 foot one that Rod prefers. Why is that? I think the main reason is because you get a more forgiving tip in it with it being a slightly longer rod. Um, it allows you to cast a wet spod as far as you like. Also, the main seller for me is when you're using a castable sonar, you're not worried about it cracking off, so you can give that a good hit and cast it as far as you're actually fishing. Well, the problem is sometimes you can't do that and you're scared to do it, so it's a waste of money. That's the rods. Let's have a look at the reels. Moving on to the reel, the first thing that will grab you is the line lay. It looks super smooth, and that's all down to the really slow oscillation of the spool. It takes something like 25 turns of the handle to do one full oscillation. On the spool itself, you've got two spring-loaded line clips. You've got a torque drag system at the front that goes from locked up to free spool very quickly indeed. And further down the reel, you've got a lovely handle with a wooden detail on the end. What really grabs us about this reel, what will be the main selling point for, for many anglers, I'm sure, is just how lightweight it is. It's just 635 grams, and that's all down to the graphite body, which also gives it a very pleasant look as well. All in all, it's a great package, and you'll even get change from 80 quid.